How are we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back with seven days to die alpha 18 in nav's game so last episode we did really well we've crafted our first bicycle which is all nice and good so we're going to be using that very shortly um i did have two extender mods i put one that i showed you yesterday on the ak-47 but I've also put one on my junk turrets. So that's increased the damage to 15 from 13. These iron sledgehammers, um, you can scrap them down. But every time you scrap something, you lose 25%. What I'm actually going to do is we're going to sell this one. This one, I'm just going to burn up into the forge. That's going to take three minutes. And it means we'll get all of the iron back from that one. So we'll let that do do its thing there. This one we will be selling. So we're going to leave that one in there because it's worth a worth a bit more. If I if I find a load of repair kits, and I'll I'll repair it up as well. We've got ourselves some helmet light mods, so we just need to find ourselves a decent helmet of some description. We've got some spare glue. Yeah, everything's looking looking pretty good. We need to do some eating before the day starts. We haven't cooked anything up. What have we got up here? Hoopo stew. That's got a 4% chance of food poisoning. So let's, let's take a chance and eat that one. Use that. Looks like everything's good there. We're going to take the golden rock with us now. What are we going to do today? We've got a quest just across the water here, which we are going to do, but a bit later on, because just past this little place here, which we've done a bit of raiding already, we've done two out of the four here, there's a Cracker Book store. Not the biggest one. There's one down here. And I was just having a quick look at my points, which is why I've started a bit before four o'clock. Um, and we got two, and we're about to get our third. So I'm definitely going to put one into Sexy Saurus because this will help us with our power attacks and using our tools, which um, we need to do because we nearly got killed in the last episode. So we don't want to be running out of stamina at all. Now the other two I'm going to save for the second. I do want to start putting something into Daring Adventure and Better Barter, but... Um, we're going to hold off just for the second. We will have two points very shortly. Because I want to see what books I can get. Depending on what books I can find in the bookstore. We'll determine. I need one more piece of wood in there. We'll determine where I put those points. Because we might just find some schematics. Some really useful things. So there we go. Four o'clock in the morning. Here we go, guys, the cracker book. So, like I said, just a little bit further on, and this is a good, solid concrete building. This might be where we hold down the horde base. Now, one thing to note is no matter how encumbered you are, that won't make a difference to rock pedaling your bike. So we won't use extra stamina. And we've got this storage here. A lot of people were saying I should have just gone straight for the mini bike, which does give you three rows of storage. But um, I like the pedal bike. I didn't want to put the extra points straight away into it. But let's see what we find in here. Because if we find the schematic, for all the parts of the mini bike, then you never know. We might just go and make one. But um, let's break our way into here. Let's see what we've got awaiting for us. There's a couple of different ways you can use this junk turret. There we go. So I'll bring you out. So you can either shoot from the hip like this. Or you can right click. Place it down. And it will just automatically shoot for you. So. Well done Mr. T. Reload you. And you get all the XP from it. So there's no, no bad thing about using junk turret so let's get ourselves into here 
Oh, get ourselves some more leather. This register is already open. Wake everybody up. Oh, we've got a crawler. Scale the punk. Right, let's bring you outside. We're not going to take any risks. Get rid of this piece of iron on the floor before I trip over it. And little bits of scrap iron like that we really want now because we just turn that into junk and I will burn it up in the forge. So. What are you doing? Why are you going for the wrong door? There we go, and there's that skill point we were just talking about. Let's quickly open up these boxes. And we've got another friend in here. We've got loads of couches here. Ooh, there he is. What are you doing? What's that till ever done to you? So we've got a working vending machine there as well. There we go. Right, so what have we got then? So we've got a hunter's journal and how to build a speaker. There we go, how to build pistols and to build the muzzle brake. There'll be nothing behind that. We've got another little quest here. Show you those quests in just a second. Let's pick everything up first. Paper. Urban combat. Have a quest. See how to build the hammer. So I did put that point into minus 69 so I could build a hammer. That doesn't really bother me too much because we always need to put points into that to make the mining better. But we would have prevented using that point straight away. Okay, so a lot of paper. I believe there's still some more stuff in the back. So urban combat. Sneaking over trash will make no sound. That's very, very useful. 10% uh, more damage to vultures. That always helps. Uh, making a speaker. Um, I might just sell that. 160 dukes. I want to know how to make that because we can use that on our weapons and pistols. I do like the pistol. Right, so here we go. Read this. Uh, kill some boars. So that one you can just do anywhere. Kill a few boars and we'll get some extra dukes and some XP for that and kill some soldiers so what that one will do is that will give us there we go it will give us a little pinpoint on the map and we go there and it will spawn a load of soldiers on us and next time we return back to a trader it will give us some dukes and some XP not a lot they're not the best quests in the world but it is something for free and I just leave them there until I'm basically riding past and I'll quickly do it. Right, I'm just going to get this lever. So lever is one of those things, you know, you get, get hold of it at the beginning of the game and to be honest, we're never probably really going to run out anymore. Is there anybody in here? No. Looks all right to me. We've got plenty of murky water now, so that will be one of the first things I throw out if we need to. Want some more food, some more acid. That will help if we go to build the mini bike and build two more wheels. All right, now what have we got in the back here? Wakey, wakey, boys. go to get your legs out. Sometimes gotta be a little bit careful with these guys because they have got their helmets on. Oh. They do get angry very easy but we didn't run out of stamina. Our sexy saurus helped us out there. That one's locked so we got a few more boxes in here. 
got these open. Where's that coming from? Oh. It's too hard. There we go. A little wandering horde. Why have you guys come in? Stamina build back up. Come on. Hmm, just the two of you, eh? You're just going to make me paranoid. Come on, then. Let's sort you out. Right. Oh, we've got another one up there. Get you open. Let's see what you've got for us. Hunter's Journal. 10% more damage against deer. That will help. We'll take the plastic. Have a quest. A bit more paper. Here we go. So we've got another schematic, another book, another quest, and some plastic. Ooh, needle and thread and a jacket. And we're going to take that. You can wrench these up and get mechanical parts, but to be fair, most of the time I just scrap them and we get some leather. So we've got another quest here. Let's read that. Kill some zombie utility workers. So again, that will give us a pinpoint on the map. Kill some infected zombies. So that one's going to spawn um, some radiated zombies. So we want to do that one when we're a little bit stronger. Some old cash here. Trigger mod. Each thing you mission craft special ammunition. Do you uh, so that makes shotgun shells that can help you break into things. So scrap that for the cloth. Don't need a yucca seed. Apart from that, we're looking all good. So that is the cracker book. Only the small one. We've got um, two other size of cracker books. A medium size one, and which has two floors on it. And then there's a really, really big one. Which we'll be going through when we get up to big, big levels. Right. There we go. These you can only make landmines out of, so I always scrap them for the iron to help us with our junk turret ammo. Let's go and raid one more building in this direction. And we'll pass back by the trader and go towards our other quest. Right, to put a few things away in here just to free up our inventory. And we've come to the barn because there's some half decent loot in here actually. Believe it or not, for a barn. We've got all the cornfields around here as well. So let's have a have a quick look and look in here. I think there's two there are two balls out the back there's a couple of different versions of this barn oh, somebody's awake maybe a couple of balls around here we are going to knock all them up for the bones so this game seems to like doing this for me. That's just given me the trigger mod that we've just read. At least I can now sell that. So, how are we meant to get in here? There will be an open door somewhere, or a door we can open. There we go. We are going to need to make ourselves a shovel. We do need to start getting this stuff. Hello. Oh, you didn't die. That sorted you out. Can you not make it out, Missy? Right, I'll come and help you. There we go. And pick up those hay bales, but we have no use for them at the moment. 
Uh oh. Ah, snake. There we go, we killed the snake. I got my knife on me. Yep. Right, we're gonna put those two up in a second. Somebody knocking on something. Right, let's get our snake. And what we're gonna be eating for dinner. We got our boar. Get you carved up. There we go. Lots of resources in here. We got a car. There's a workbench over there. We'll be cutting, wrenching you apart. Destroyed. Neil and Fred. Okay. Lockpicks, they always come in handy. Follow the light. Wakey, wakey, boys. Oh, there's loads of you. We are bleeding. Right, that's you gone, and that's you gone. Use two of those. And let's use one of our painkillers. Right. I wasn't expecting quite so many to come out there. Did that nurse fall down? The cheerleader? It was cheerleader, wasn't it? A floor is lava. Definitely going to have to get all these resources. We'll have to come back here. Right. Let's swap you for this. Eliminate the problem before it even begins. We are a bit dehydrated. Oh, we got another one there. You're going to fall down? No. This guy's got skills. But not anymore. Sometimes like there's a few of them down there. Oh, that's this. Okay, so we've got to jump onto this ladder. And I believe if we jump onto that, that falls down. Or is it this one? One of them definitely does. Right, let's get you out of the way. Right, is there anybody over here that we can snipe out? Or there be another one hiding. Oh. Took his head clean off. Right, okay. So now, this is the first one I think we found that is locked. So we keep our finger on E. Use our pick lock. There we go, we actually did it first time. That doesn't often happen. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Right. So, we don't need the hay bale at the moment. Now, we've got our first helmet. We're going to scrap our baseball hat. That is minus one from what we're already wearing, so we'll scrap that for the leather because we're carrying plenty of leather. There is the animal fat just for the second. And we're going to scrap the iron pipe and the nails, because we make nails in the forge now. That's going to be worth a little bit to sell, yep. So, let's now... Oh, we've got an 
ammo pile here. Plenty of shotgun shells, that's what we like. Mechanical parts. Ah. Oh. The game is talking to me. So now we can use our shovel and we can shovel up all these resources. That's going to give us some cement. And these ones here give us cobblestone. But I won't make you watch for all that. We're going to jump down. Quickly sort out these zombies. Any loot hidden in here? Never remember where they hide loot or whether they don't. Oh, we've got a purse. Kind of kind of peas, right. Come on, Mr. T. Help me out. The thing is you can't get shot by it either yourself. So there we go. Eighteen hundred experience. Thank you very much. Reload you. I think that's pretty much sorted everybody out. Still hear one other person hitting about, but I will sort them out and I'm going to get all these resources quickly. My God, you've got to be kidding me. I'd even said that thing can collapse. I jumped onto it anyway for give it a go. Just trying to be too greedy with the resources. Right, we're going to take that with us because we have that helmet and we're going to take a shotgun with us for protection and we're going to have to run all the way back to our backpack now and I hope it's there because we did have a glitch where the bike, uh, where your backpack, sorry, not the bike, the bike should be there, where that can disappear. Oh, what a start, eh? What a start. Ooh, is that? Yeah, day four, so this is going to be our first airdrop. There we go. Right. Where did this collapse happen? Was it over here? Yep. Yeah. Luckily, there's our backpack. Take everything out. And we are encumbered. Right, that sorted you out. Oh. Why is it always my stupidity that kills me in this game? Uh, we did find a poncho. Which will help us out. Uh, put the junk turret over here. We did, however, get lots of experience. Hot weather, airdrops, there we go. So now, uh, where's it going to show us here? We've now got this near death trauma, so that's going to last for a little while down here and we've got to get this xp before we start building it back up luckily we had just actually got a point because you get lots of experience for digging this kind of stuff up like right, let's scrap that now we've got um, a water purifier which means that we can install that into our helmet and we can drink normal water 
without getting dysentery or anything. But unfortunately, our helmet can only take one slot at the moment. So we're going to put the headlight mod on there. So we have just a little bit more light when we need it. Right, I'm going to take this iron. The least I can do for you killing me. That bit there, I know, falls apart. So we're definitely going to leave that alone. I thought it was only the one that actually fell apart. Even mentioned that just a minute ago. But, um... Oh, all right. Let's get this last little bit. Cobblestone cement. That one I know, I've seen that fall before, so I knew that one did, but I didn't think the one outside did, but you can now learn from my mistakes. Uh, that does happen. So we're just going to dig up these last few little bits here. We need to get ourselves some food. I think we've got a can on our bike, so we'll be doing that. Go to the trader, sell some of this spare stuff to him. And then we'll go and do that other quest. So one thing about dying happens to all of us. But luckily, oh, I nearly, nearly missed that. There we go. Um, one thing about it is that um, at least we've done it right at the beginning of the game here. So it isn't going to make a big, big difference to our... Um, our day seven horde right here we go we got anything in here we're gonna sell yeah, we're gonna sell that we're gonna sell that keep that on us right oh that is really annoying me i need to get some food from the vending machine as well do some eating to keep us happy uh, what a day so let's see your inventory. Now we're going to show you the old cash. We've only got three, but it clears up an inventory slot. 160, 160, 160. We found some more baseball bat parts. Hmm, not sure where I saw them from. Okay, uh, 106. Here goes 590 dukes. And the rest of it, shotgun parts I'm going to keep because we can use them to help make a pump action shotgun later in the game. So I believe that's everything we're going to sell him. Yes, that is. Be with you, my friend. Okay, and let's go and buy some food. We'll make some junk turret ammo while we're at it, actually. So we've nearly already done that um, experience debuff there. Let's get ourselves some food. Spend all this on the food. There we go. Eat a bit of this up quickly. And a chili, and we'll do the pears. Should put us back up to 100%. That splint I'm going to leave on the bike. So if we break our legs anywhere, we can just go back to our bike and sort ourselves out. And we'll keep a bit of food on there as well. And the last of our dukes on there. Right. I'm going to drop things back off at our home base and then go to our quest. It looks like we've just had a few friends turn up at the house. We got another wandering horde coming through. Come on then. Light off. We need all the XP we can get now to get us back to where we were, get so we're back on track. God. 
Come on. Right, that's you sorted. That's you sorted. Anyone seen the new renders of the New Orleans zombie? He's looking very good. We still got somebody in here? Oh, hello. Get out of it, you. Oh my god, hello. Come on out, guys. I missed a T. Out, so there we go, we're already into the positive, we're killing these zombies. <laughs> uh and you rolling down the rolling down the hill, right. Load up a bit more of you. Right, let's go and do this quest. So here we go, we're at the quest. What a deer out there. If you're still here afterwards, we're going to sort you out. That reset. Right. Come on, guys. Out you come. Never clear. Got all the red dots on the mini map. Come on, out you come. Struggling to find your way out. I can't actually see you. Oh! Same as last time, coming from coming around the back. Oh! I didn't see those spikes there. He definitely needs to put some points into strength. That would be a massive, massive help. Right. Oh, I don't want to really go under anything. Probably collapse, knowing my luck. Oh, hello. Okay. There's Arlene. My new and improved Arlene for um, Alpha 19. There we go. Right, up here. Ah. Vultures. Right, we've got that one little mark now, which will show us the last the zombies right some loot over there oh boy, why are you running stop running at me oh. right there better be some decent loot in here Another shotgun. Only a few shells, though. Ooh, we've got a bit of stuff to sell here. Like, is our AK, is that loaded? There we go. Ooh, this is a bit more like it. Right. So... We've got the spring rod mod. We can put that on the AK we, if we get a better level one. We're going to scrap this. We don't need the glass. Um, we're going to scrap our junk turks. We want the parts. Scrap that to sell. And yes, yeah, so we've got a bit to sell there, which is all good. Use another one of those so our max health can go up. See what we got in here. Bandana and some gothic pans. Well, we're going to wear the bandana for the second, because it will just help with our heat. Hopefully, soon we find ourselves a cigar, which will help us with our strength. Now, is there any more of these cars we can actually loot? Let's quickly.
quickly check around the outsides. They all look crushed to me. Just the one. Oh no, another one here. A few jukes, a few bullet casings. No, and we're back at the beginning. Where's my bike? Right, there's my bike. Right, to the trader then. Hello, traveler. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so we got a level two hunting knife. So I think I'm definitely going to take that. Do you have any jobs? Clear zombies. Ah, so we've now going on to level two jobs, which is nice. We got level two, seven hundred and fifty. That's southwest. So if we look at the map, southwest. So it's going to be somewhere down here then, probably. Yeah, somewhere in that direction. So let's. I think we'll take that one because it'll probably be very similar to where we've just been. I have a task for you. Yep, for it's the dogs. I guess this kind of yep, makes us there we go. Now. So we've just done this. I think it was this one here. So now we're going next door to it, to the docks. There's actually two sets of docks here. So, good, good stuff. Right, are we selling you anything? Yep. Shotgun pipes we're going to keep. Sell those. Spear. Stun baton. Machete. There we go. And we've got level. We'll scrap that for the lever. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. We'll scrap the pants as well, or trousers as we like to call them in the UK. Right. That is pretty much it for today, guys. So few highs, few lows. Not overly happy about the death. I must admit, right, we'll pick that up, may as well take that back with us. Tomorrow, day five, we're going to have to start thinking about a horde base. So I'm not going to be holding it down in the house we're in. But I think I am going to keep that just for the minute as our base of operations, as we've got a few things there. Um, I might be looking at the pawn shop that we've already been through. Or that cracker book that we've been through. So I think one of those are going to end up being our hall base because they're solid concrete buildings already. The zombies knocked a hole in the side of my bloody house. Making liberties they are. Right. So yep, that is where we're going to leave it. Just going to sort out my inventory, put a few things away. Um, so we're doing well for Dukes. Doing very well for Dukes. Uh, we are going to need to build some more repair kits as well, so I'll be sorting that out as well. Right. So, as always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Um, any comments down below, please join us on Discord. Join the community over there. It's building up very nicely now. Um, we are always putting updates and any notifications about anything going live, whether we're live streaming, any new videos. We've got all the renders over there as well, with the new Arlene zombie as well, coming to Alpha 19. Um, that burn up. Yes, it did. I might go and get ourselves some iron for the end of the day. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care. See you later.